Good morning, you guys. My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my Christ subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free channel, collective reading for all signs, caps to sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys. We're at 13,280 subscribers or something like that. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. If you choose to donate, I want to say real quick, um, thanks for all the recent donations. I really, really, really appreciate it. Um, I don't care if it was a dollar, two dollars, or five hundred dollars. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Also, everybody, please keep me in your thoughts and prayers because I have a child custody battle hearing on July 15th um, of this month of 2022, so 10 days away. So um, I really appreciate all the thoughts and well wishes, meditations, prayers, or not, whatever you do or don't do. Um, there's no judgments on religion here. Um, Y'all know that, so just saying. Okay. Okay, so I received a channeling this morning, so I'm going to go ahead and deliver it. Hope everybody is doing well. I do, I do, I do. Um, it's a really, really good one, and I'm, I don't want to be too loud because I don't want to wake my kids up, okay? Um, but the channeling I received was, um, um, the narrative is about to completely shift. That's what I heard. And that's all I heard. Um, um, that's all I heard. So the narrative is about to completely shift. So you plug it in how it resonates. You were abused in a huge way. You and your children. But you're about to get huge, huge, huge justice. Huge. Okay, I heard that uh, narrative's about to completely shift in a huge way. You were abused in a huge, huge, huge way. You and your children. Um, but you're about to get um, justice. You're about to get justice. So whoever you are and how this applies. Um, that's beautiful. Um, abuse is never okay. There's many types of abuse, mental, physical, financial, spiritual, sexual, um, and that's just the truth. Um, if you might need to hear that, there's many types of abuses, many, um, and it's sad. And people that do those kind of things, they should be locked away, like in prison. Um, and I'm, and as some people are, like for like forgery and fraud and theft, embezzlement, um, Things like extortion, things like that. Um, some people are. Now, there are people out there in the universe that have done those things that have not been locked away. And that's just the damn truth. The damn truth. Um, but, I mean, some have been caught, true criminals caught and put away. Now, some have been set up. Some, some people have been set up and they're rotten away, basically. Rotten away in prison in jail, probably most of them in prison, for a crime or crimes they haven't committed. But there are some people in there that truly do deserve it, though. And that's just the truth. So, um, whoever you are, you've been abused. You and your child or ch children have been abused. They have been abused in some shape, form, or fashion. And um, you're about to get justice here soon so um because the narrative is about to change so the inner meaning i feel that's the energy is about to shift energy is about to shift in your favor and it sounds like it's universal force energy meaning the universe is going to force it series of chain of events of people in the universe are about to help you because i think they realize you have been abused uh, or they're about to learn you've been abused it's not only you that's been abused it's been your kid or ki uh, kids that's been abused too um you plug it in how it resonates you are a psychic you are a psychic okay so you're a psychic and you've been abused um whoever this is resonating for you're a psychic and your child or children have been abused um which is really really sad 
um, psychic abuse, which I've been pulling that in for about a month now, month or two or something like that now. Um, it's sad. It's sad as what it is. Um, but like I said, there's injustices that happen in the universe all the time, all the time. Um, there's people in jail and prison as we currently speak that should not be there for crime or crimes they haven't done. They were set up for. There's people not in jail or prison that set these people up for crime or crimes and they're roaming free. Um, some it's because of money, some not. And there's people that have had crime or crimes committed against them. I'm assuming like the psychic and her family where the people that probably have committed the crime or crimes against the psychic and her family are probably roaming free. I mean, it's a screwed up system, a screwed up world we live in. And that's just the truth. It's a screwed, screwed, screwed up world. And that's just the truth. But I heard you're about to get justice soon. So good. It's about to be from someone in your community. They're about to break the barrier. They truly do care. They have been, they have really been struggling as far as coming towards because they know Oh, hold on. I lost it. Because they know they're going to get flagged, but they don't care. And they have gotten false information on you in the past, but they are doing their own research and have done their own research and they know the truth. Okay, so that's a long but strong one. Sorry, I kind of lost it halfway in. I know you guys like the screen up like all the time, but it, the channeling, I, I don't, I have to keep it halfway. It just, when I look up and I see myself in the screen, it's weird, just saying. Um, so yeah, so whoever you are, sir, ma'am. Okay, so we have the psychic. You have to play yourself in where you fit. These are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. One may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. You have to plug it in how it resonates, okay? Um, if this story is not for you, it's not for you. There might be other stories on here or other readings that are for you. Um, it's just very important. I only plug the message or messages in how they resonate and apply for you. Okay. Um, if, if this message isn't for you, story isn't for you, you just might enjoy watching them. Um, it might be somebody you know. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay. But it's for somebody out in the universe. We have a um, psychic that's been abused and her kid or kids. And the person in the community that's basically been blackmailed not to come towards this person. Uh, well, blackmailed or bullied or harassed or berated. I heard they were um, basically blackmailed not to come towards you in the past. But they've been doing their own research on you in the past and currently. And they're about to break the barrier. Meaning they're about to come towards you. Um, because they know the truth, I'm presuming. Um, I'm presuming because they know the truth. So these are the two people in this particular reading. So you have to plug it in how it resonates, okay? Sorry, my hair's a little crazy. Fair messages you have reflected. But wh whoever this person is, they're in your community. I'll tell you that. They're in your community. Oh, I want to tell you one more thing um, uh, before we get rolling again. Um, I ordered my. Y'all know I ordered the thousand uh, business cards again. I already put the hundred out in my community. I ordered the thousand. Um, they haven't come in yet. They're due to come in on the 8th. Today's the 5th. I'm hoping they come in like today or tomorrow or something. But they haven't come in yet. Um, but I'll, I'll be putting those out. And um, the Yelp, the update on the Yelp account, they haven't activated it. But 
the website part is optional on the business side. So that's pretty shysty on Yelp. That's really shysty on Yelp, to be honest. Um, Yelp, if anybody from Yelp watches my channel, um, you put on your business side that the website's optional. However, they will not activate my profile until I have a website on there. So maybe somebody needs to fix that, sir or ma'am. If you work for Yelp, just let everybody know. Um, that needs to be fixed because you're falsing, falsifying information. Just saying, just saying. When you're saying on the business side, it's web uh, optional, but yet I get strategically asked if I want to do uh, advertisement. I decline the advertisement, and all of a sudden my profile can be activated. Well, maybe it's because you're not, you don't want, because you want the extra money for me to put in for advertisement. Well, I don't want the advertisement. Maybe you should take the optional part down and quit falsifying information and quit lying to folks. I mean, just because I don't want advertisement, I don't want advertisement. But if it requires a website, then you need to put required, not optional. Just saying. If anybody needs to hear that from Yelp, just saying. Okay, so yeah. So yeah. So anyways, okay, so we have the B energy. Buzz, 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 buzz. Um, so yeah, let's see. I feel this is your person about to come towards you in your community. Boom. And a, a Gemini of your past claimed to be very high vibrational. However, this person, no, this person is a serious drug addict and alcoholic. You are so you are going to be so happy you dodged a bullet with this person. Okay. So um you plug it in how it resonates. So a Gemini of um your past, if this resonates for you, psychic. I think this is for you, psych that message could either be for you, psychic, abuse psychic, that has child or children, or you um community member about to come towards the psychic and her child or children or just psychic um how that resonates community member and um psychic we have a low vibrational gemini of your past whoever this is for um gemini masculine it's a gemini masculine he's a low vibrational gemini masculine um but he was claiming to be high vibrational but i heard um so he could have been claiming he was high vibrational towards you community member or towards you psychic and her ch um, family with child or children. But however that resonates, he really wasn't. He really wasn't high vibrational. I heard he's a huge drug addict and alcoholic. Anybody that's a drug addict or alcoholic or has any kind of heavy addictions like sex addictions or um, gambling or anything really, really like heavy on the addictive side that's low vibrational because that means you haven't done your healing growth and shadow work to work on yourself now god knows i'm not perfect because hell knows i'm hell knows he'll know i'm not i'm not for sure for sure but i can with a clear conscience tell you i don't have any freaking addictions except for smoking cigarettes but i could cut that off if i wanted to i just choose not to um and that's just the truth but whoever this person is I think they were claiming to you, community member, or claiming to you, psychic, with child or children, that they were high vibrational or they were false masking and acting like they were high vibrational. But what you didn't know, I'm assuming what you didn't know, is they're huge drug addict and alcoholic. And they were actually talking to you because they thought you were too, but they figured out that you wasn't. So they switched gears. Okay, and I heard they were actually talking to you because they thought you were you psychic and um, with child or children or you community member was a drug addict and alcoholic too. But they realized talking to you that you wasn't. So they switched gears, meaning they switched energy. It's like a cloaking energy. They cloaked their energy to like they um, they wasn't a drug addict. They wasn't an alcoholic. They're very smart, whoever this person is. They're very smart. They know how to switch energy. They know how to switch gears. They know how to cloak themselves. I didn't hear they were using a cloaking spell, but I feel they were. Um, and I'm just being for real. 
but they they definitely know how to cloak their energy, hide their their habits, hide their addictions, basically. Um, so when they this person started speaking to you, community member or psychic, they thought when they first started speaking to you that you were a drug addict or alcoholic. That was the initial premise here because they're a drug addict and alcoholic too. So they wanted somebody just like them, basically. But they realized, speaking to you, that they're not you're not just like them. So they switched gears. But whoever this person is, they're not in your life anymore. So you either blocked energy from them or they blocked energy from you. But I heard basically you dodged a bullet. You dodged a huge ass bullet. Huge. Okay, I heard you dodged a huge ass bullet. Huge. So good for you, sir, ma'am. You dodged a huge ass bullet. Huge. Um, it's a Gemini masculine. He can have Gemini in his sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, heaven, or Jupiter charts. It is somebody of your past. But this person thought um, recent past. Recent past is what I heard. Recent past. So he's from your recent past. Um, okay, so he's from your recent past. Whoever this person is and how they apply. Um, I feel for this person, maybe he wanted to date you or be just be friends with you or do a drug deal with you or drink it up on the weekends with you or be friends with benefits or something like that. Psychic um, and her family. For the... Community member, if this resonates for you, sir, ma'am, I'm thinking uh, that mine could be the same thing. Well, I don't know. I don't know. You have to plug this person in how they fit. I don't know. But they, initial communication with you, they were under, some, I think somebody told them that you were a drug addict or alcoholic. Because why would they start communing, communicating with you Thinking you're a drug addict or alcoholic if somebody didn't tell them that. Or they didn't see something on social media leading them towards that. You see what I'm saying? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Spirit, let's suggest you have a book here. Several shocking series of chain events are about to happen to this Gemini masculine very soon. His ass is about to get blindsided in a very negative way. For one of you, he's going to want to come back and tell you about it. But you will not entertain him. He's coming in very strong in your reading today. So I heard several shocking series of chain events are going to occur um, with this person soon. You've already blocked your energy from this person or they blocked it from you. How that resonates. But y'all are not communicating anymore. Definitely not hanging out in the 3D. I mean... Not communicating. But I heard several shocking series of chain events are about to occur with this person soon. This claiming he's high vibrational, but he's really low vibrational. Secret drug user and alcoholic, basically. Um, several negative shocking series of chain events are about to occur with him. And basically, um, um, for one of you guys, so for one, he's going to want to come back and communicate with you basically what was going on in his life. I guess just a bitch and groan and my, and gripe and complain or what have you, what have you. Um, but I heard the communication will already be blocked. It will already be blocked. So you plug it in how it resonates. Uh, it sounds like you're not going to want to communicate with this person. Um, because for at least one of you guys, they're going to want to come back. Um, this time he's going to want to tell you the truth, but it will be too late. This time he's going to want to tell you the truth, but it will be too late. So when he, uh, for whoever this is for, community member or psychic, um, abuse psychic, femme psychic over here, he's going to want to tell you the truth this time so he's going to want to tell you that he really is a drug addict and or he really is an alcoholic or really is both or what have you what have you the real truth in the past he didn't want to uh, but you either made power play, play moves or he did i feel in a lot of these cases you did because there's a reason he's going to want to come back so i feel for a lot of you guys you guys made the power play moves and blocked your energy i think you blocked him deleted him Blah, 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 whatever. But, um, but, um, he's going to want to come back. So that's why I think in a lot of cases you did it. 
you did it. You you took the self um this the power. You took the power and you did it. But how that resonates, I heard he's going to want to tell you the truth this time. So there's a reason he's going to want to tell you the truth this time. But I heard you're not going to entertain it. You're not going to entertain it. I don't blame you. I wouldn't either. A liar is a liar is a liar is a liar. If you're a drug addict and an alcoholic, you're a drug addict and an alcoholic. Be honest. Be straight about it. This person wouldn't even have the balls to be, what did he, didn't even have the balls to be straight about it. Okay. Spirit messages you have for the collective. Stolen inheritance is key in here. Stolen inheritance is key in here is what I just heard. Stolen inheritance is key. So, um, stolen inheritance is key. So, you plug it in how it resonates. So, we have B and Peacock. So, I uh, feel this is the community member and this is you, psychic, and uh, psychic, abuse psychic. B. The truth is out. Completely, completely, completely out. Including the stolen inheritance. Cycle changes have already started happening so, so fast. And they're going to continue to happen so, so, so fast. It's about to go really badly for the people that abused you in the past. Finally. Justice. This person is finally going to make power play moves to come towards you. It was a hotbed of activity in the past, but they're about to do it now. Because they, they have gained self-power in their own selves and other people have gained self-power in their own selves and they're about to make it happen. For their own selves. This person knows it's the right thing to do. That's why they're about to do it. Okay, I heard this person knows it's the right thing to do. That's why they're about to do it. Well, kudos to you, sir, ma'am. That was a long channeling, so you have to go back and check it. But um, kudos to you, sir, ma'am. So you know about this stolen inheritance. You know about this toxic community. But it sounds like people in the past, they just went with the crowd, went with the mold, just did whatever, I guess, whoever asked them to do. Just for the to be liked in a community um that's not how communities work for anybody who doesn't know that's not how communities work i've lived in many a communities in my world i've lived in texas i lived in new york i've lived in alabama twice um that's not how communities work if anybody needs to hear that you move in your community to make it better to help it grow to help it flourish no matter if you live there for six months or 60 years and that's just the truth and that's a huge reason why I'm about to move out of my community as soon as this court hearing's done on July 15th. And I'm being serious because I have done nothing. This community has done nothing but be terrible to me. Terrible to me. And I have done nothing but be very good to it. And that's the truth. Um, that is the truth, truth. I mean, I... I have supported this community, the small businesses in this community, even now on a very limited income, not having a full-time job and just doing this on YouTube, which has cut my income by about two thirds, by the way. Um, I still go out and support the small businesses still to this day on a very restricted income, like very restricted. I still go out and support the small businesses. 
And that's the truth. And I'm in the middle of legal battles paying legal fees and legal fees to lawyers and guardian mad items and blasey, blasey, blasey. Even in these times, even with no job, even with my community abusing the hell out of me, I still go out and support the small businesses. I still take my kids out to eat. I still take them to do fun things to this day. I mean, and that's just the truth. Because I do love my community. And I would choose the small business over the fancy chains right now. Corporations or whatty, whatty, whatty. I would anyways. But my point is, I would choose the small business over them any day. Even right now. Especially right now. But what I'm saying is, is that right for a community to treat a single mother like that? No. No. It's not. But they do. They've done it. They're doing it to me now. But. Do I take it out on the small businesses? No. I mean, I support them. I, we go out. My kids want to go out. We go out. I stay strong for my kids because I always have. And we do it. Because I budget appropriately. And then I'm going to get the hell out of this toxic ass community. And that's just the truth. Why would somebody want to stay in a place that clearly doesn't like them? Clearly um is toxic for them um i eat this community for me and that's just the truth um somebody that's wrongfully terminated in their community four times in a professional career i might add you that's that's not correct and the thing is is i have i ever been um have i ever been as a nurse ever been in the drug pr treatment program no the vdap no when i worked at the hospital here in um this last time from january to uh may um several nurses in the er currently in the vdap which is the drug treatment and alcohol treatment program for our state several nurses currently in was currently in that treatment program I have never been in that drug treatment program or the alcohol treatment program because I'm not never been an alcoholic or a drug addict but those people I think for some I mean I'm not saying those specific people but my point is yet those people have full-time jobs those people don't get wrongfully terminated those people still have jobs and they still have money and income stream coming in but yet you're heartless enough to wrongfully terminate me that doesn't make sense but yet you want to gainfully keep the drug addicts and alcoholics hired that doesn't make sense someone's getting a huge wake-up call someone's getting a huge wake-up call i'm serious I'm serious. If anybody needs to hear that. But I heard the truth out. It's out. It's out. This person, they're about to come towards you, psychic, and your um your family. I'm serious. Or maybe just you. Maybe your kids won't be there. I'm not sure. Peacock. Someone thought you were very, very, very cocky in the past, but they're realizing you're not. You just tell it how it is. And they're right. Someone thought you were very, very cocky in the past. A lot of this had to do with an air sign. Talking you into the ground. But they should have known better. Because this person has got a huge bad reputation now too. And they will continue to have so. Okay, I heard. Uh, okay. So, uh, basically defamation of character, slander, lies. Community wide, basically. Um, on you in the past. Um said you were very very cocky very very um full of yourself big ego etc 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 basically uh, ego driven um but this person i think listened to this they listened to the gossip they listened to the bee the buzz 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 around town listen to you for so i think that's why they didn't come towards you but they're about i mean they're about to come towards you soon now because they they know the truth not it's not true and somehow an air sign has to do with this all this gossip and slander and blase 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 whoever this air sign is gemini libra aquarius 
They can have Gemini, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Mid, Hamlet, Jupiter charts. Whoever this person is and how they apply. But um, but this person is realizing now it's not true. It's not true. And so they're about to buzz towards you. Um, whoever this person is. I feel they are upright member in your community. I don't feel they're a person on the streets or a person that's not going to do for themselves or what have you, what have you. Um, however that resonates. But this is your call. Uh, this is how the heat. He or she betrayed you, uh, portrayed you. This is how he or her, she portrayed you. Betrayed you means that's how they looked at you. They looked at you as the peacock. They looked at you as the peacock, that you were haughty, that you were ego-driven, that you were full of yourself. Um, but it's not true. I heard they realize now it's not true. It's not true. It's just you're probably just protecting yourself or standing up for yourself. Or protecting your kids or standing up for your kids' psychic. Um, I don't, I mean, I heard an air sign had a lot to do with this. But I heard the air sign has a horrible reputation now. Because people are figuring out the truth on the air sign. And I heard they're going to continue to um, have a bad reputation. Whoever this air sign is. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could have Gemini, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Mid, Hamlet, Jupiter, Charge. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, sir, ma'am. Okay. I didn't hear anything else. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste. Someone wants you to just fall off the face of the earth. Fall off the face of the earth. However, their death, their wishes of death upon you and their negative evil energy towards you is about to uh, energetically boomerang back on them in a huge, 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 huge way. For one, they actually will pass away. For one, they're going to be very, 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 very physically disabled. Oh, my Lord. This is terrible. This is terrible. So, you plug it in how it resonates. So, it's at least two people in the universe. This is terrible. I think it's your air sign. Your air sign that basically, um, for some, it could be that low vibrational Gemini. Masculine. For some, it could be somebody else. But... How that resonates, you got heavy air sign energy out here, I'll tell you that. This person could be an air sign, or they could be any other sign. I ain't hear a sign on them. But, uh, for some, they could be earth sign, maybe. Is it earth, this is earth sign? I'm sorry, fire sign energy. For some, they could be fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag, because this is fire sign energy. Or not. But however that resonates, um, uh, these people basically were wishing like death spells upon you. Death spells and death threats. Or death threats and wishes of death upon you. So I think they were like chanting death spells out into the universe. Hoping that you would die. I mean, and I hate to put it like that. This sounds like, like something should be on the damn four, first 48. But I'm just being for real. I do. I think they were chanting probably death spells upon you. Literal death spells. Um, but, or for some, they could have hired a hitman or a hit woman, but it just didn't pan out. But however that resonates, um, it didn't work. You're still living, sir, ma'am. You're still living. And, um, basically the energy is about to seriously boomerang back on them. One of them I heard is actually going to pass away. So they haven't passed away yet, but upcoming, they're going to pass away. And one... They're going to be so physically disabled that I guess maybe for some they might wish they um, would pass away. And I hate to put it like that, but sometimes I've worked in nursing a long time. People that have declined in what uh, in life, like in um, Decline in physical functioning, decline uh, in ambulation and physical functioning, and uh, people that need actual care to live, um, they sometimes get depressed. They sometimes get depressed because their functioning has declined, their physical functioning has declined, so they cannot 
get out and do the fun things like they used to be able to do is what I'm trying to say. They can't go they can't go zip lining or skydiving or swim in the ocean with the dolphins like they used to. Um and that's just the truth. And that's really sad. But um but in all seriousness this person has a black ugly soul heart. Um at least two of them does. And that's just the truth. So, you plug it in how it resonates. This person is about to be a hero. About to be a hero. You are about to really, 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 really gain effect, um, deep affection. I heard affection. Affection for this person. And they will for you. I heard affection. My God, are you going to fall in love with this person? But I mean, but you know, affection, affection doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be um, love. It can just be caring. Um, and that's just the truth. So I did hear affection, but it, that affection could be gratitude. It doesn't have to be love. You know, it doesn't have to be. And that's just the truth for real, for real. So whatever affection is to you, it could be platonic. It could be romantical. It could, I mean, whatever, whatever it is. Okay. But however that is, um, you're, you're going to appreciate this. You're about to really appreciate. I think it's information, man. I think it's valuable, pertinent information in some shape, form, or fashion is what I'm feeling. But you plug it in how it resonates. Um, for some, it could be something else. But whatever it is, he or she is about to be life-changing to you in a positive way. I think that's why you're about to gain deep affection for this person. Because they came to you when nobody else would. They made a power play move when nobody else did. Whoever you are, sir, ma'am, but be you psychic. I think you appreciate stuff like that is what I'm trying to say. I do. I mean, I, if this was me, I would. So and I'm just being for real. I think you appreciate power play moves, positive, upright power play moves. And this person is about to make it. So I think that's why you're about to gain affection for this person. I heard they're going to gain affection for you. So the feelings can be mutual, but it could be platonic mutual or, um, or um, romantic mutual if you guys choose to turn into that down the line, um, if you choose to. But, um, but either way, it's going to be life-changing, I think, for both of you guys in a positive way. Whether you keep it platonic you keep, or you turn it romantic or what you want to do, I don't know, okay? Several shocking series of chain events are going to occur with this. You both are very mature. Very mature. You will definitely get along well. Several shocking series of chain events are about to occur with this, this situation soon. So it's about to happen quick too. And that could be what the B energy is on here too. Fast movement. Fast and movement. I mean fast. So fast. Eight of Wands. I heard you're both very mature and you're both going to get, get along well. Several several, several shocking series of chain events are going to occur with this. It's going to happen fast. So fast. Buzz energy. Um, and um, it sounds like you're going to get along well. Maybe you go out to dinner. Maybe you go to coffee. Maybe you um, walk in the park. I mean, I don't know. I mean, you can do all those things platonically or you could do them as something more. But my point is you're going to get along and it sounds like you're probably going to conversate after this person coming to you and delivering you information or physical something, something or what have you, what have you. Um, you're going to get along. So I think you're going to keep the connection with this person is what I'm trying to say. That's exactly what I think. Uh, of course, that's your free will to do so if you choose to do so. Okay. All right, I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful night or day, whatever. Sorry, it's 9.43 a.m. Wonderful morning. Um, hashtag, where's my freedom? I'm still on July 4th vibes, just saying, just saying. Love you guys. I'm safe.